everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Escapist. My poor, poor camera still doesn't work. I don't know what's going on with it. I've tried everything. I've tried, like, a brand new camera. I've tried trying it on a different, like, you know, SSD or a different, like, computer drive. Nothing really seems to work, so <laughs> I guess we're just going to have to go cameraless for an episode or two until I figure it out. I do actually have a little GoPro as well, which I might give a whirl, because it does actually do 60 FPS, and um, this game is totally filmable in 60 FPS it's just something that I've never actually gotten around to doing so that might be quite nice we can upgrade the series for the final prison which might be this one or we might go and do all the other prisons as well that'd be good uh, do I have distractions at morning roll call I do there you go anybody there you are nice all right and we're gonna run back really <laughs> quick oh god damn I'm fine though as long as they don't go into my desk I'm gonna be okay uh, oh there was a hole underneath my desk I completely forgot about that actually um, what have we got inside of here? I don't think we have anything of too much value there. I think really today I'm just going to go really hard on raising all of these stats. Hello, Toots. You've got some... Oh, you've got a glass shard as well as me having some duct tape in my desk. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Please don't let there be a guard up here. Let me just quickly put this away in there. Oh, God, I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get caught. Oh god, maybe it'll drop down. Maybe it'll go down. Okay, I'm going to continue to search desks whilst I'm at it. Uh, I'm going to press that so it has no idea where I am. Oh god. Uh, oh, timber. Hello. All right, so we've got timber, lighter, more toothpaste, which is definitely what we need. Uh, I'm just going to quickly switch these into slot two. There you go. Look at this. All right, I'm going to quickly boom. There you go. Camera never saw me. I was never here. Oh, balls. All right, no, he's far away enough. Okay, right, I need to try and get to my room and drop the timber in before any guards rock up. Let's see what we can do. Four cow. Oh, God, I don't have enough space. Uh, uh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, what am I doing? That out there. That there. That there. Drop that in. Good. All right. <laughs> Panic over. So uh, you probably expected me to impart a load of knowledge on you. That's been imparted to me. But honestly, you've all been pretty strict with me. You've said, no, look, you've done like five prisons now. You're going to have to do the sixth one by yourself. Apply all the knowledge that you've gained and just get on with it. Like, there's no backing out of this one. Ah, balls. So, yeah, I think today is just going to be a major stat grind, I think is basically what's going to be going on. Uh, so let's get ourselves over to, I reckon, probably the gym. I think strength is the important one. We get our strength up nice and high. Um, I do have my janitor job to be cracking on with, actually. Completely forgot about that. Maybe I should quickly go and grab that. Did I have any distractions at morning breakfast? No. I could have sworn I had, like, four jobs this morning. <laughs> could I, am I wrong about that? I could have sworn I had way more jobs when I first came out of here today. Uh, let me just drop that. Pick you up so you're in slot two. There you go. Ooh, double zappage. Who is down here? We've got sleeping pills and nothing else that we'd really want. Okay. There's no point in me really having a weapon at the moment, just simply because um, I'm just not going to be able to use it, am I? Like, I'm going to keep getting zapped continually, and I'm just going to lose every weapon that I have. Um, I really don't think I'm going to finish this job in time. I completely ran past this stain a second ago. I'd like to think that there's going to be one down here. Yes, there is. Oh, my saviour. The only tip that I have actually had is people have said that the unloading job is very handy when it comes to this prison. So, obviously, that's something I'll strive for. And that would just come part and parcel with me actually upgrading my intellect. So when we get our intellect up, in, up into the kind of like the 80s and the 90s, it basically means we're going to have access to every job. Whoa! Why didn't I see any numbers popping out of that? Unless both of those two both had like padded armor on or something. That was very weird. I've never seen really that happen before. <laughs> they were just kind of like swinging. They're like, oh no, stop it! And just like slapping each other. This janitor job is going on for ages, isn't it? I thought I would have lost this at like half one or maybe like one o'clock, but... We're basically at 20 to 2 now, and it's still going strong, which means I'm not going to lose my job. Yeah, there you go. All right, so let's sort out our intellect then, because really to stop somebody from getting to their job, I don't need to be in a fight. Really, all I need to do is just aggro the person, have them punch me in front of a guard, they get tased, and then just continually do that so they never actually get to go to work. Uh, I should probably turn up to afternoon roll call just so I don't get into trouble. We have got Toots here, wants toilet paper. Uh, what else do you want? This is for what, John? Uh, you want Smithy beaten up? Uh, I don't think I can beat anybody up yet. No, I'm going to say no. Uh, and Eddie's plotting something against you. Knock him down and all that sort of stuff. Again, can't really do anything like that. We do need to get Simon's magazine from Smithy, which I nearly did yesterday, didn't I? It was in this room just here. So, as soon as the camera's in- oh, balls, oh, balls. Uh, oh, no, they're gonna come and check the room. Oh, okay, I don't know what's going on. 
I'm getting really confused. <laughs> My heat keeps going up, but they're not doing anything about it. All right, there you go. Get the hell out of here. That camera was, like, seriously following me, wasn't it? Oh, no! Oh, no, I thought all four guards would have left me alone. Apparently not. Anyway, let's get back to what we were doing. Stat raising. Let's just work on intellect for today. Intellect is the main one. We sure got to be smart in here. Make sure we can get all the work done. And I'm still absolutely bloody clueless as to how to get out of this prison. Um, I've still not really been outside yet. I don't even think there is a way outside. I think we kind of surmised that much in the last episode, but... Um, it seems to be coming more and more true as we go on. This music is like uber serious. Have you heard it? it, it this is like American Horror Story creepy toy maker sort of music. All it's missing is that. And a two-headed lady as well. And a bearded lady. And also a freakishly tall lady. And also a lady who doesn't have a bottom half lady. And a lady who is just German lady. <laughs> She, well, I guess she has one leg, but that doesn't really make her part of the freak show. She's just like, she's just a victim of bad circumstance, I guess. Right, anyway, let's mash the Q. Oh, God. Let me try again. Mash the Q&E. <laughs> there you go. I actually get some strength stats up. Just so I can at least show my face inside of here. Um, any distractions for any of you lot? You want your die back from Paul, and you want your... Eddie beaten up. <laughs> well, he's not your Eddie, but you want Eddie beaten up. Let's go to Paul's room then. Uh, was it Paul's room? I think it was Paul's room. Yeah, go to Paul's room. Where does Paul live? Ah, Paul lives next door to Smithy. Oh, bugger off. They're only going to end up coming to this room now. Real quick. Oh, it wasn't even in there. Oh, God, I'm in trouble. All right, quickly before that camera turns back on, I just want to quickly grab the toothpaste. There you go. Right, what other item was I looking for? I was looking for the... Was it in Tutron's desk? No, it was for Tutron out of Simon's desk. Okay, Simon's next door to me, isn't he? On... Oh, no, maybe he's not. I could have sworn he was next to me. He must be somewhere else instead then. He must be right there. All right, cool. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about the camera. Bugger me. I'm up to 99%, and it wasn't even in that room. And the guard is totally coming through here. I'm going to get beaten up right before the evening meal time is over. Oh, God. If I walk in there, I'm going to get zapped. If I don't walk in there, they're going to come looking for me to get zapped. <laughs> like, I don't really have much of a choice. I think I'd rather just sit out the way and just, like, play on the internet. Oh, no, no. Come on. No, I wasn't looking at anything dodgy. What are you doing? Oh, come on. I was just checking eBay. I put a load of contraband up in there. It's like the black market, but of this prison, which we still haven't named yet, by the way. I still haven't come across a name that I'm, like, massively like, that's the one. Like, that's the real deal. It just hasn't happened yet, so feel free to continue commenting them if you really want to. Um, but I'm sure, I mean, we get, like, thousands of comments, don't we? So I need to really delve through all of them. Like, I've delved through a good, I'd probably say a good three or four hundred, and I've yet to find what I was looking for. Oh, God, we've almost got enough to buy a guard outfit. That's actually a really good start. Oh, come on. Oh, someone got zapped in there. <laughs> Someone got zapped. Feel bad for them. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm getting a move on in a minute. I do need to grab some spoons, actually, before bedtime. All right, let's do this thing. So let me just drop a load of crap that I don't actually need right now. Super glue is do doing nothing for us. I do need spoons, and I can get rid of a few of these forks, I reckon. It's just I want to start digging that hole underneath the floor, and then maybe you can go outside via, like, the top part. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Drop them up. Drop the toothbrush. I don't particularly need that. Who's getting checked? It is Simpson Sparkles. That's okay. All right, let's do this. Let's grab a couple more spoons. And then I could probably do with some space for toothpaste. So I'm just going to steal toothpaste out of somebody else's desk before the day is out. Uh, oh, but I need to drop that first, don't I? Uh, there you go. I'm just going to quickly go to the end here. Oh, no. Come on. I knew it was going to zap me. Bloody hell. All right, let me just go into one of these rooms then. Come on, you bugger. Just want some toothpaste. That's all I'm after. Oh, God, he's going to come to the room. All right, grab the toothpaste and go. I'm so glad that toothpaste actually refills. It's really handy when it does that. All right, I'm going to grab you, and then we're done. We're okay. All right, time to get digging under our room, I reckon. I'm just going to wait for them to go away from my room, because obviously that camera's just flagged us up, so it's very likely that they're about to enter here. Oh, God, don't take the spoon away. All right, good, he's off. <laughs> We're not having any more officer sleepovers, I'm sorry. It's not allowed. All right, I'm going to drop that. Uh, there, good. Oh, maybe... Oh, yeah, balls to... I don't know. Oh, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Oh, God. Ah, all right, good. I just wasted, like, an entire 10 seconds there. I could easily have dug a hole in that time. Oh, God. I'm really starting to think this hole might be pointless, but I can't decide. Like, I'm going to have to jump, jump in and out of it in, like, 30-second increments. <laughs> just, <laughs> it doesn't really make much sense, does it? Maybe I shouldn't even be bothering. All right, the camera's going to be active again in a few seconds. I'm just going to put that over. 
just in case when it's alive again, it's going to do that. All right, let's grab you. You're going to go like that. Good stuff. All right, and then we're just going to diggy dig dig on top of this spot. I guess really what I'll have to do is just cover it back over with dirt, won't I? If I actually use it as my tunnel out, that's what I'll have to do. But I'll just have to be really wary of time every time I jump down there to dig a little further through the tunnel. Um, but I think that's doable. I think that's totally doable. Uh, 10 seconds left on that. All right, good. And eight seconds left, and we have ourselves a hole. All right, good stuff. Look at this. All right, so let's wait for the camera to activate again. I'm just going to quickly drop that onto that slot. I'm going to put some dirt in the toilet. Uh, do I want to get the glass shard out? I might as well. I might as well have that in there instead of, for example, a, like a fork. There you go. All right, it's 10 p.m. and we still haven't gone to bed yet. This is good. We're actually doing things. I like it. Uh, I'm just going to drop you into the corner. And then I reckon if I go bang, bang, bang. All right, now we're just going to have to kind of guess when, uh, <laughs> when the time is going to be over. Although it's not too difficult to check, is it? Oh god, I should really keep an eye on when I press it. I've got a little stopwatch up on my screen which kind of tells me how long I've been filming for. So maybe I should use that as a basis. I'm going to check quickly. Alright, 14 seconds left. So that means that would finish at like 25-ish on my little clock. And I'm going to be out of fatigue here, aren't I? Bugger. Alright, let's get back up then. Let's cover that over. Let's lie in bed and just get this fatigue down a little bit. And I think we've got enough toothpaste for, yeah, for one more dig. Okay. If we can happen to get a trowel off of somebody, that would be really cool. But otherwise, we're going to make this really slow, but totally doable tunnel. Like, <laughs> I honestly think we could tunnel upwards out of this room to get onto the general grounds. It's obviously just making sure the camera never actually clocks us. And now that I think about it, actually, it might have to be like a one-way trip. Because obviously, if I come back through the hole on the other side of the wall, and then come through my tunnel and come back up into my room, that would mean that the desk can't be there. Ugh. Yeah, maybe this is a waste of time. This is, I'm still like, this is what I mean. Like, we're like three episodes deep into this prison now, and I still feel as, like, lacking in knowledge as I was when I started in it. So let's deactivate the camera. Good. All right, so that's going to be out for 29 seconds, which means I've got until about 50-ish on my little stopwatch. Uh, but I think the spoon is going to run out way before that. I'm going to have rocks to deal with as well. Oh, God, this isn't going well. This series is just going to be like, What? What do you mean you found evidence of tunneling? The cameras didn't go off, did it? The camera was deactivated. I mean, I guess a guard could come by my room, but all right, so that is definitely not a thing for us. Because even if we deactivate the camera, the guards are still going to see it themselves. So that's pointless. Um, have we lost everything inside of our desk? We have. Balls! All right, we've lost everything. We've still got our posters, which I guess is a thing, but... It's really not preferable. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to like get a load of forks, aren't I? And dig a wall out of my room into the main corridor. But I'm fairly certain if I have a poster up on that wall, they're totally going to... They're totally going to clock that. We'll give it a try. I think this is all going to be a lot of trial and error, but I'll certainly give it a shot. Oh, we've been tailing someone. So an exercise period, you want a distraction, and you want breakfast distraction, and I can't take on any more. Which ones can't I do for the meanwhile? Um, that one involves a beat-up, so I'll skip on that one, and I will grab shower block distraction. Ha-ha, okay. So distraction, 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 and a book for Toby, as well as some dye from Paul. Okay, we can totally do that. Right, let's Grab a couple of forks. There you go. I'm going to leave a slot or two open just because... Actually, I can leave one open because I just need the toothpaste for the rest of them. And then if I get myself uh, beated up... There you go. Come here, Paul. There you are. Nice. Ah, instant zapped. Instant zapped. <laughs> so currently our intellect is 42. We've got 16 and 20. That's all right. We'll continue to get our intellect up as and when we actually work on our wall. Uh, but for now, let's go for... I reckon this wall here, I reckon this one just directly beneath the bench is going to be the best one for the job. So if I do that, I'm going to drop you. The toothpaste broke. Oh, my God. Now, are they going to... How close can they get without noticing that I'm actually chipping away at this? Like, do they have to be stood on, like, the door side? Or is it within, like, a two-block perimeter of it? Oh, yeah. See, that wasn't close enough. But Officer needs to scare the crap out of me then by walking there. Okay. Everything still seems good. I'm just going to fully use up this toothpaste. Obviously, I don't want to waste potential chipping time there you go and obviously i don't even have any duct tape at the moment to make a poster for when we actually break this wall through but it'll be nice for when we do and i'll leave that there all right i'm happy with that uh we'll leave the fork in there it only mean that we've got slot one open to do our janitor job and earn a little bit more wonga uh tutron what you got for me buddy old pal 
Oh, a bar of chocolate. Yeah, that's totally doable. There's bars of chocolate in, like, everyone's desk. <laughs> or, like, if somebody gets beaten up, I'm definitely bound to find one. Right, job time. Let's have a little look around the place. I just realized, actually, I'm pretty much the janitor from Scrubs, aren't I? Like, the jan janitor from Scrubs imparts some serious, like, knowledge bombs sometimes. Oh, dear, in the zappage. Um, yeah, he's still just a janitor. <laughs> like, literally, this whole episode has been intellect and sweeping, and I'm basically him. It's great. Uh, I'm going to take the wire for any fake fences that we might want to make, and also a tub of talcum powder as well. And, oh, I could also take you for another fake fence. Yeah, let me drop that. And if I get a chance, when there's no guards around, uh, kind of, yeah, that'll do. All right, we'll take that off you, and that might be good. Or I could make a whip. If I got my intellect high enough, I could totally make a whip right now. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's bolster it. Let's drop uh, that real quick. Uh, grab that. Okay, they didn't see me. They didn't see me. That's good. And none of these items are illegal either, which is great. And obviously we can carry weapons in and out of the detectors without getting, you know, detected. <laughs> so let me put all this crap away. There you go. All right. Uh, I should probably get to cleaning up some stuff. I haven't actually seen any dirty marks on the floor anywhere yet. Oh, there's one in the gym. There you go. The first one's in here. Somebody has been working hard. They've been dripping everywhere. Oh, I'm fairly certain that's what she said. I'm fairly certain that's what she said. Uh, stripping is flat out. Let's have a look. He's got a watch. Uh, I will take that. The watch is a slightly harder to come by item than some of the other ones that get requested for, like, uh, retrieve missions. Uh, Malfoy, can I grab a quest off you through the wall? No, a bit too far off. So Smithy does that job. So who currently does the loading job? It is... Oh, it's Ant. Oh, yeah, I could totally take Ant. I could beat up Ant any day. Uh, one more swipe. Or maybe two, actually, and I'll be done with this. Oh, no, I lost my job due to sheer incompetence. Are you serious? There just weren't, there weren't any sp patches anywhere for me to get. Uh, unloading. Oh, wait, wow. Loads of jobs are vacant. Woodshot, maybe? Oh, I need at least 50 intellect. Aren't I really close to that? Uh, 41. Oh, yeah, I can totally do that. Hold on a second. Let me go to afternoon roll call. Um, I didn't do the breakfast distraction like I should have done. There we go. I'm just gonna run past you lot. Shut up. Don't tell me to hurry up. Yes. Oh, God. No, get out of here. Come on, Officer Lee. Have a word. If we get this up to 15, then we can get one of the better jobs. And I think they actually pay better, which would be really good for us. Uh, and also, they all happen in one room as well. Like, obviously, the other job requires us to run all about the place, which is nice to have that freedom. But if we finish our job fast enough, we'll be in and out of there before the time is even moved. Uh, oh, dear. That wasn't good. All right, so it's free period. So if I can get a new job before the next period... There you go, good. So, of course, the one job that I want is the one that isn't vacant. I think that's a dead giveaway, isn't it? That's like a, a very subtle tip for any people that are playing this game. Uh, let's get back to our stat raising, because why not? Ah, oh, balls. All right, I'm out of fatigue. Let's get gone to shower. What's Eddie selling? You are selling step ladders. I was actually after a step ladder, wasn't I, for the uh, for the old job that I had, but I guess that's over now. It's fine. Oh, you know what? This shower room, I don't know why it reminded me of it. It's really weird, but um, <laughs> apparently there is actually an escapist prison maker. So this series might just be absolutely infinite. So if you want to check that out, if I remember to, I'll put a link in the description. But if you go to the escapist subreddit, then it's there, and you can basically make prisons and you do things like this. I think it was specifically the shower blocks that triggered my memory of this because obviously not all of these in here restore fatigue uh, and I remember seeing that on the little map that they drew up but there you go that's a thing so if you know of any particularly good fan made ones then let me know and I'll obviously give those a try uh, after we've tried the three official ones of course which was what Camp Epsilon something else and First Peak wasn't it I never remember that third one <laughs> like I never remember what it's called uh, let me just quickly oh dearie Smithy Oh la la, and Toby as well. Toby and Smith, we both got owned. I'm going to pick you up, and you've got nothing that I want right now. And you have nails. Like, that's not important, is it? I think for the first time ever, just now, I tried to press M to open up a prison map. <laughs> I don't know why I pressed that, but that was the thing that happened. Um, so who needs this distraction in the shower? So obviously I don't beat them up. There you go. Cool, there you go. Good. Uh, there you go, zappy zap. Yeah, I get it. I'm into the routine by now. I'm used to getting shocked. I hope that doesn't deteriorate my stats too rapidly uh, each time that happens. It doesn't seem to. I mean, I'm still at like 60 when it comes to my intellect. It'd be good if we can get this up to like maybe like 80 today, something like that. But with it coming up to 7 o'clock and bedtime being 8 o'clock, I'm not sure how much longer we're actually going to get inside of here, so... This might take some going. Honestly, at this point, like, it doesn't even matter if I get zapped. There's no point turning up to evening roll call to then just, like, waste time when I could be getting intellect. If they're just going to zap me, then I'm going to be fine. So I might as well just let them crack on with what they were doing. 
It doesn't even matter if the place goes into full lockdown because I have no red items at the moment. So I might as well just be really stubborn about this and not go back to my room when the evening roll call finishes. Uh, and I'll be fine. So what I might do is I might let them zap me now. So come here, you. There you are. Top. I lost that fight. And then, oh, my fatigue's down to 50%. I guess that's better than nothing. And then I can just quickly go and get it up a little bit more. Look, I'm up to 80. I got to 80 in a day. That's great. So obviously the doors are going to try and lock now, which they have done. Oh, okay. Well, I guess if I were to just put a dummy there, like before the doors lock, then that instantly gets me into this area. That's an interesting thing to know. Because pretty much every single room that has a detector on it has one of these cell key doors, except for this one. Oh, I think we're onto something here. I think we've we've started to uncover a tiny part of what could be a brilliant plan. Uh, but anyway, let's just quickly do this until we're absolutely maxed out. All right, we're full. And we're up to 92 intellects. All right, so that's totally enough. I'm just going to have a little walk around and see what happens out here in the evenings. Yeah, okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, look, every single door has these things going on. Are they not angry at me yet? No, they're not. When are they going to go into high alert? What? I don't know when that's going to happen. Have I just stumbled across something here? Do we not get... I don't think we get it at this prison. Unless I glitched the game and maybe I died at the right time when I got tased. Because I died pretty much as soon as evening roll call ended. And I was already in my bedroom. So maybe that triggered the game into thinking that I'm still in there. Because the doors have locked. Normally the doors wouldn't lock if I wasn't in there. Ah, I mean that's naughty. It's cheaty. But I could use it to my advantage. Because then that means I could just roam the grounds in the evenings and never get told off. Oh, this is brilliant. Right, well I tell you what. Uh, oh no, that camera didn't like me. Oh, I see. When the flashlights come on, that's when shit gets real. Okay, that's when things get serious. So if I just stand in here, I'm going to see what time I can get to before they tell me off, before they find me and zap me. No, they're, they're legit just not going to find me inside of the library. So, like, the library is just, like, this safe haven, isn't it? <laughs> like, Officer Tom doesn't seem to come into here. They seem to just patrol the corridors and not actually go into any rooms, which is brilliant. So let's just see if I walk into them, what kind of consequences I'm going to face. But that's interesting. I, I, that kind of dying at the right time thing is really good. There you go. I'm not sure how you got out of your cell, but it won't happen again. So there we go, everybody. That's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, uh, we're probably going to work on our strength and our speed, as well as doing a few more odd jobs, and we can slowly work out how the bloody hell to get out of HMP Iron Gate. Bye-bye!